Hello everyone. In this video, we will address a very important question which we get asked every time we advise a patient that he or she has to undergo a hernia operation. And this question is, sir, they say when you put a mesh for a hernia operation, there can be so many problems because of the mesh. And that is why I don't want a mesh. Can you do a operation without a mesh? So this mesh in a hernia operation is an extremely useful innovation which has drastically and dramatically increased the success rate of hernia repairs. But these meshes have their own share of problems. But luckily, the problems we face because of the mesh is much rare. So today in this video, let us see what are the things which can go wrong when you use a mesh to repair a hernia. The most important dreaded complication when we use a mesh for repairing a hernia is the risk of infection. Meaning the mesh is a foreign body. It does not belong to our human body. It's a foreign object which is kept inside the human body and stitched. Meaning the mesh does not or will not have the normal blood supply like every other part of the body has. In any other part of the body, when an infection is introduced, the immune cells and the antibiotic medicines are immediately sent to that part through the blood vessels and these help in fighting the infection and the infection is cured. But when a foreign prosthetic material is kept like a mesh or an implant or a rod for a fracture, there is no blood supply. So the bacteria in case they get lodged into the mesh are completely protected from the antibiotics or the body's natural immunity. So whatever medicines you give cannot reach the mesh. This is the reason once a mesh gets infected, it is very difficult to cure that infection. So many times antibiotics do not work and the only cure for this would be to reoperate and remove the mesh completely. So this is a dreaded complication but luckily in good hands and in good standard hernia repair centers, the chance of a mesh infection happening is extremely rare to the extent of less than 1%. So in most places, hernia operation is extremely safe with a very, very low risk of mesh infection. The second important problem which has been described when you use a mesh for repairing a hernia is long term nerve pain or neuralgia. It's also called chronic groin pain where when the mesh is placed in the groin region, how does the mesh work? When a mesh is placed, the body secretes a lot of collagen or a body cement and fills the mesh. It is like a TMT bar which you use to construct a building and concrete is poured onto it. Exactly in the same way, the body's cement or collagen is poured over the mesh and that builds a very strong wall which helps to prevent the hernia from occurring again. When this collagen is formed on the mesh, there is excessive, this is basically scar tissue. There are a lot of nerves around in the groin region. The nerves can get trapped into this scar tissue or the body cement and they can get repeated irritation. And when this happens, the nerves can start firing erratically and the patient can experience numbness or tingling or sometimes even pain in the region where these nerves apply. Especially in the groin hernia repair, patients can complain of pain or tingling in the scrotum region or in the inner thigh. This also is very rare and in the era of laparoscopic hernia repair, the incidence of this sort of chronic groin pain or nerve irritation causing uh, this pain has become extremely rare. The next much rarer but more serious complication is mesh erosion, meaning the mesh can sometimes start sticking to the nearby important organs, especially the urinary bladder or the intestines and can start eating into that organ and create a hole in the organ. This is an extremely rare complication which happens in, in less than 0.1% of patients. But when this happens, it needs a reoperation and the mesh has to be removed and the hole in the intestine or the vital organ has to be repaired. All these complications of mesh are not common at all. So this, this should not scare one when, when somebody says you need a mesh for a hernia repair. You should not say, no, no, I have read very serious things can happen because of mesh. I do not want a mesh. The benefits of mesh is far, far more important than the chance of these complications happening. 
if a mesh is not used for a hernia which actually needed a mesh the chance of recurrence is very high so the patient would end up coming repeatedly for hernia repairs the advantages of using a mesh far outweighs these complications and in good centers these are extremely low risk of having these complications so the mere uh, knowledge of these complications should not deter you from being scared of a mesh or trying to avoid getting a mesh for a hernia repair